Yo, what is going on guys? It's Juan Solo here with Day Squad Gaming and welcome back to the channel. Thank you all so much for tuning in today for some more Ghost Recon Wildlands. So in today's video, we are going to be going over all of the patch notes of the Special Operations 1 update that we are actually getting tomorrow. So real quick guys, before I jump into that, the um, we're going to talk a little bit about the Year 2 Pass. So the Year 2 Pass will grant one week early access to all six um, of the Year 2 classes for the Ghost War PvP. The pass also will include eight battle crates, four spec ups, and four ghost war crates, and access to the splinter cell equipment pack. So if you guys don't want to have to buy the splinter cell equipment pack standalone, you will need to get the year two pass. So with the splinter cell equipment pack, we are going to be getting the SC4000 assault rifle, and I'm actually going to pop an image up on screen here for you guys so you guys can check that out. It's kind of a wholesome gun from the splinter cell franchise. It's one of those cool guns they're bringing into Ghost Recount Wildlands. And then with that, you're also going to be getting the 5.7 Blacklist weapon skin. So you're going to get a new weapon skin for the 5.7 pistol that is already currently in the game. We are also going to be getting the Karambit Knife, granting players a new exclusive CQC move thanks to the Echelon Gloves from Splinter Cell Blacklist. So this game is also going to, this update is also going to have the Splinter Cell costume, a new version of it. And it will also include the Karambit knife and also as well as Sam Fisher's night vision goggles. And then also with that, we are going to be getting two new night vision goggles with their own night vision filter with a flip down animation. So we are finally getting actual night vision goggles that have the flip down animation that we've been wanting pretty much since the game came out. So they are listening to the community, you know, bringing new features and stuff that we are asking for back to the game. As well as three new weapon camos with this, with this pack. Um, and also real quick guys, to activate the Karambit knife, you will have to have either the Echelon gloves or the Splinter Cell costume equipped. So next up, we're going to be talking about the Splinter Cell Special Challenge. So what this is, is the DLC that you guys are seeing on screen here. And the free Splinter Cell Challenge will be available for all players for one month starting on April 10th. Similar to how the Predator DLC worked. And the rewards for completing this mission are Sam Fisher's Night Vision Goggles with their own Splinter Cell Vision, New Proximity Mines, and a Splinter Cell Patch. And the mission will still be able to be accessed uh, accessible over uh, once the mission and stuff after that month is up once it's all done but you will no longer be able to receive those rewards and the mission that you need to find is actually going to be started in the la cruz region just so you guys know and as well with that we are getting ai to, uh, customization coming to the campaign mode we've been asking for this pretty much since the start of the game and we are finally getting that so they are definitely listening to the community and then also with that, we are getting some new content to the Ghost War. So we are getting a new game mode called Sabotage. And in Sabotage, teams take turns in defending or attacking two radio transmitters. And the attackers must activate one radio transmission and defend it until it finishes, while the defenders must either stop the transmission or prevent the activation in the first place. And with this new game mode, we are going to be getting a few new maps, including Library, which I'm going to pop these images up on screen here. Looks pretty cool. I'm not exactly sure where this is at in the open world, but uh, definitely looks like a pretty cool map some urban you know buildings and stuff as well as some really cool long sight lines and then we have roca which is kind of like just a little town uh, out in the wilderness which you have a lot of cover with the trees and buildings so there's going to be some close quarters combat as well as some long range engagements and stuff and then also we have train yard which when I saw this at first, I thought, hmm, maybe this is like the train graveyard that's in um, the desert, but it is not. This is somewhere else on the map, and it looks really, really cool. There's a lot, there's some high ground, a lot of buildings and stuff, so that map should be pretty cool how to play. And then we also have the Unidad Field Operations Base. So this is actually, I think this is the base that you guys saw right at the start of the game, uh, right at the start of this video. I was actually going into this base. And uh, also we have the zinc mine. So this one here is at nighttime, obviously in this picture. And this is also right at the top of the Kiwani region, at, I would believe up towards when you kind of transition into the inner part of the map. Um, and then the sabotage game mode comes with these five maps. Um, and then we will be getting obviously some of the other maps and stuff, probably going into rotation some of the other game modes later on down the road. And then also some of the new classes that we are getting right now, we have the Assault class called the Echelon, and this is available one week earlier, obviously, if you have the Year 2 Pass. And the Echelon class is equipped with the Ultra High Frequency Sonar Goggles, standard equipment to 4th Echelon Agents, and then when activated, it sends sonar pulses that reveal enemy players in the vicinity for a short time. This allows the Echelon to gain tactical advantage over its enemies, especially when used under low visibility situations like nighttime or inside smoke clouds. 
and stuff like that. So this is going to be, I almost say this is, this is definitely going to be a very powerful class. And obviously a lot of people are going to be using it because it's, you know, it's the new class in the game. And then also we have a few other things changing with some of the other classes. We have the medic. Um, they replaced the medic's minds with flashbangs. And then also with the tech class, they replaced the tech C4 with proximity mines. And then on the point man class, they have reduced the damage output of his ACR and AK-12 by small amounts to bring them into similar levels with the other classes and stuff and then also there's a new perk with the marksman class um the, it's called hollow point ammo so the hollow point ammo uh, perk allows bleeding damage over time for 90 seconds and with every bullet hit if the enemy is already affected by it, every bullet that hits will refresh that duration. And additionally, while the effect, is, the effect is active, Battle Rage and Adrenaline Rush will not regenerate health. And interacting with a supply crate will remove the bleeding effect. So these are some pretty cool things here. And uh, overall, there's a lot of other things in this update, but those are pretty much the main things. There's a lot of bug fixes in campaign and PvP. But I'm really excited about this DLC, being the fact that we are getting the Splinter Cell DLC coming with this. I'm very, very excited to be able to play alongside Sam Fisher. You're not actually going to be able to play as Sam Fisher. You're going to be playing as the ghost, assisting him in a mission. And then also, like I said, it's um it's going to be very, very unique because it's sort of kind of like kind of comes over from one of the Splinter Cell games so yeah, he follows a target to Bolivia that's trying to sell like secret information to the drug cartel and then you go in with all of your ghosts and him and aid him and taking down some enemies and getting the the files and stuff back so it's it should be really really fun to see how that all plays out but that is pretty much all for the video guys just going over the patch notes of the DLC one special operations patch notes and stuff if you guys are excited about this DLC you guys are excited about all the new features coming to the game make sure to slap that like button also if you guys are new to the channel make sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all things Ghost Recon Wildlands Far Cry 5 and more. Thank you all so much for watching and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.